60 seconds on trade deficits. A trade deficit happens when the value of a nation's imports is greater than its exports. For example, in 2024, the USA's goods and services deficit was over $900 billion. Now, a deficit sounds alarming, but in economics, it's more nuanced than simply, oh, we're spending too much on overseas goods and services. A trade deficit isn't necessarily a sign of economic weakness. It's matched, for example, by financial account surplus on the balance of payments. So the same pounds, dollars and euros are used to buy foreign goods and services. Well, they often come back into a country as inward investment in domestic assets, such as government bonds or equities or property. Trade deficits often happen in countries with a strong, perhaps overvalued currency, high consumer demand and spending, or attractive investment climates, so countries importing the capital it needs. They can reflect confidence in an economy and rapid growth, not necessarily decline. However, persistent and increasing trade deficits can also signal structural supply side issues, such as declining competitiveness, low labour productivity, excessive borrowing and spending, or simply a country outpacing its demand for goods and services over what it can supply itself. The key takeaway point is that a trade deficit is neither inherently good nor bad. It's a reflection of how an economy interacts with global markets. And understanding why it exists matters more than the number itself.